<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? How are you? No. Good morning. Hi, Chevelle. Good morning. Come here now. Come here now. We'll start already. But today, today I'm not going to read the gospel. Okay, we're not we're not going to read the gospel for today because it's uh, it's it's another version of some of some other gospel we have read just a few days ago. How's that? So, but. But today we will talk about we'll talk about a topic that um, that is sometimes difficult for people to talk about. Okay, but but uh, it's it's a it's a topic I think we should talk about and we should be familiar with just because just because it's a reality and just because it happens every day. And because it's also going to happen to us. Okay? President Roosevelt once said, There are only two things certain in life. Taxes and death. <laughs> Taxes and death. So the humor of uh, Teddy Roosevelt, right? Two things certain in life. Taxes and death. What does that mean? Taxes come every year. You gotta pay your taxes. We pay our taxes every year, right? Every year we gotta pay our taxes. And the other thing that is certain that will happen, but we cannot avoid, is death. <laughs> okay. So sometimes we wonder, may we wonder about death, right? We wonder about death. Um, we have had the experience of people dying, people close to us, our loved ones who have, who have died, who have gone ahead of us. Eh? Have gone ahead of us. And, uh, and um, uh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Dying is a mystery. We don't know much about it. We, well, maybe we, we, uh, we really don't, we cannot imagine how it's going to be like. Right? We cannot imagine how it's going to be like. We don't know what's going to happen. And, and maybe because of that, maybe because we don't know what's going to happen, we don't know what it's all about, that we sometimes can fear death. We sometimes um, are afraid to even talk about it. But I think that is precisely the, the same phenomenon as being afraid of something you don't know, right? The fear of the unknown. Now, how, how uh, are those fears um, overcome? How do you overcome those fears of the unknown? Well, the way to overcome them is by understanding them by gaining a little bit more of an understanding and insight about the things we are afraid of so that by understanding these things better well we we can uh, hopefully get rid of that fear and instead of fearing something like death we actually look forward to it we actually we actually anticipate it right it, it, it is it is an exciting reality because you never know when it will come, right? It's like it is like a um, uh, a game of chance. It's like gambling. It's like uh, well, we don't gamble. <laughs> it's like betting on something, right? That you don't know when it's going to come, and uh, and that's part of the excitement of death. That's part of the excitement of living. That you know one of these days. Uh, we are going to die. You and I are going to die. And we don't know uh, when. We don't know the time. We don't know the day. We don't know the year. We don't know the circumstances. We don't know the time. Right? Uh, uh, and, and that's what contributes to the excitement. To the ex excitement of the whole idea. That, but what if you go that, to hell? Oh, oh, well, what if you go to hell? Well, that is, the, that is what you have to fear about, I think. And maybe also that's the reason why people fear dying. 
because they're not sure of where they're going. Right? And, and they're not sure of where they're going. Now think about it this way. Think about it this way. Okay? You kids, think about it this way. What happens when you go to bed? When you sleep at night? Sleep. What happens? Yeah, what happens in your sleep? Do you know? Sleep. Are you aware of what happens? Yeah, you dream. You dream? <laughs> okay, but once you... Once you're, you, you lose consciousness, you don't know anymore what's happening to you, right? Yeah, okay. You're trying to become a smart... <laughs> okay, but really, you have no consciousness. You have no understanding, right, of what's happening to you. Well, maybe death is something like that, right? That when that point in time comes when we die at that precise moment it's like falling asleep that's why that's why many times death is um death is when it comes is associated with sleep it's like falling asleep uh, you don't know you don't know what's what's happening you don't know and then and then uh, uh um, you just wake up the following morning hopefully if you had a good sleep you wake up refreshed you wake up you know, it's a new day. It's a new beginning. And maybe death is something like that. When we fall asleep temporarily, right? We end the day only to wake up to a bright morning. And hopefully if we have a good disposition, it's going to be a bright uh, day, a bright morning, a new day for us. Right? And if, if we go to heaven, then... Uh, then that is the, the that's going to be the situation. We're going to wake up in heaven uh, with Jesus greeting us and welcoming us uh, to our new home, to our new abode. What's eh? abode? Abode is a new place, a new home. Now, what else? What else can heaven be like? Eh? What else can heaven be like? Sometimes it can be like. Uh, Going through, you know, the, the, the hallway of the house, okay? Going through the hallway, and if, it is, if it's evening, it's going to be dark unless you turn on the lights, right? But because, but because we know that hallway very well, and sometimes we don't even open the, turn on the lights anymore, right? We know that it will go turn right first, and then it's going to go turn left first, right? Okay. <clears throat> and then, at the end of the hallway... Is the room of mommy and papa no. right and when you open that door when you open that door what if you were never thinking that papa was going to be inside the room and when you open that door and the lights are on and then boom hi surprise right you didn't know papa was there to open up to you and to greet to you right i think death is like that too Death is also like that. That we are going through life like this. Okay? We're going through life like this. And we are... It's, it's a dark uh, corridor. Because there are many uncertainties in life. But then, when we, when we open that door at the end of the hallway, we realize, oh, Papa was inside the room. Right? It's like when we open the door, we find Jesus inside the room. Greeting us, welcoming us. It's a pleasant surprise. Right? It's something we, we were not aware of, perhaps. We didn't quite know. It's uncertain. But then when we opened that door, well, Jesus was there. Right? Jesus was there. Now, the other way I would, I, would, I would think about it is this. You know, we've had some experiences of some of your cousins uh, coming over, visiting us, right? Cousins that you haven't, you haven't uh, met before, right? Cousins from the Philippines, aunties and uncles from the Philippines, uh, New Zealand, right? But, but you have been communicating with them, right? Through social media, through telephone, right? You, we have com been communicating with them uh, for some time before they came, before they arrived. And then all of a sudden, they said, oh, we're coming. We're coming to visit. Right? And then what happens? We're there waiting at the airport, we're waiting at the airport for the moment when they emerge from, from, the, uh, from that area, 
right? Actually, we're waiting at the monitors and we're looking at them and we're saying, oh, is that him? Is that her? Is that the one? Is it? Oh, he's coming, 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 coming. And all of a sudden, they're there. Boom! Hi! Right? All of a sudden, they're there, right? So there is anticipation that builds up. Anticipation is building up. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. And all of a sudden, there we are face to face with them. Right? And the joy, the joy that, uh, that, um, that you feel for meeting uh, the pe these people uh, for the first time uh, just becomes overwhelming. Right? And it's, it's a good feeling. And I think death is something like that too. Especially, especially because, and if rather, especially if we have been cultivating and developing our relationship with Jesus all throughout our life. As we are trying our best to do. Right? If we are living our lives in a manner that, you know, we, we are already establishing that relationship with Jesus. Now, we are already trying our best to be close to Jesus now. Then, the hour of death, the time of death, is not going to be a dreadful thing. It's going to be an exciting thing. It's like watching our cousins and our friends and our relatives coming through that uh, the the the, the, um, the the corridors of the airport, emerging from the immigration uh, uh, offices and, and and pouring out into the the reception area of the airport, right? Because we have been acquainted with them. We've been acquainted with them somehow, even in a, even in a uh, um, not so, not so uh, concrete or, or uh, in a virtual way. Let's put it that way. That's the word I'm looking for. We've been acquainted with them in a virtual way because we communicate with them through social media. Somehow we see their faces. Somehow we are acquainted. But now is the personal meeting, right? Now is the personal meeting where we get to meet them at the airport. Okay? So I think death, death is something like meeting our relatives at the airport. And there, see, although it's the reverse, right? We are the ones arriving. At death, we are the ones arriving. And Jesus is the one at the airport meeting us. But that reunion, that reunion is something like, I imagine, like death would be. Okay? That there will be no surprises, really. Really, there's, there will be no surprises if we had lived our lives to the fullest. If we have lived our lives in full communion with Jesus. If we have always been intimate with Jesus, then there will be no surprises. Eh? There will be no, no, no uh, fear. There will be no fear. Death is going to be a welcome treat. Because it's the first time we're going to be in personal, direct contact with Jesus, whom we have been knowing and trying to get to know more about and, and, and have been loving, even in this life. Right? So death is not going to be a fearful thing for us. So perhaps the question to ask ourselves is, well, how have we been living our lives? How have we been um, really uh, trying to be close to Jesus? See? Because it's the same Jesus that we're going to meet. The same Jesus we receive every day at Holy Communion. The same Jesus that we adore and we worship in the Holy Eucharist. The same Jesus that we, that we talk to in that monstrance that we, that we uh, kneel down before every day. We are there every day. We receive Jesus every day. We talk to Jesus every day. We, we greet Jesus every day. We talk to Our Lady, His mother, right? Just like you talk to your cousins and their aunts and uncles. We talk to, your, we talk to Joseph. We talk to St. Joseph. We talk to Our Lady. And, and, and uh, we, we talk to the saints, right? We pray. We try to imitate their lives. We try to imitate what they do. Right? In the same way that you also begin to, to imitate uh, the habits of your own visitors. Right? 
we had we had some visitors from china and uh, all of a sudden we're, we are imitating the the gestures and the way uh, our friend liam sometimes talks and does things right <laughs> because that's what happens when you love a person you tend to imitate that person and the gestures and habits and 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 mannerisms of that person right if we love jesus and we've been trying to love Jesus. We've been trying to love Our Lady and St. Joseph. We tend to imitate them too. Right? So, at the time of death, there'll be no surprises. At the time of death, it will be like, Hi! Long time no hear or long time no see or uh, finally we get to meet. Right? That's how death is going to be like. Especially if we have tried, really tried, very hard in this life to be uh, with Jesus. Right? So, I'd like to think death is something we should not be afraid of. Death is something, in fact, we should be looking forward to. As it can happen anytime, it can happen any day, it can happen at any age, it can happen at any circumstance. Sometimes it will be a surprise, sometimes it will be a long drawn preparation <clears throat> but here's the best part for those who love god for those who love god for those who are trying to live their lives in communion with god now death is going to happen at the best time and the best place at the time we are most prepared you can you you can be sure of that that is the that is the uh, the kind of guarantee that uh, we can be assured of death is going to come for us at the best time at the moment and at the time that we are best prepared and most prepared to really meet our creator he in fact will prepare the best time he will know when the fruit is ripe Right? It's like picking the, picking the fruit from the tree. He will know when the best time is for us to go and meet Him already. Right? It's like, again, going back to the, to the airport analogy. Right? They will know, He will know, when is the best time for us to travel, to undertake that journey, and to meet Him face to face. He will prepare us. He will prepare the best time the best place, the best circumstances. And so, in order to assure that, I think what we need to do is let us make every situation the best time. Let us make every uh, day the best day so that we are always prepared and that Jesus may always find us prepared at that time, at that moment, and can call us when we are ready. Now, of course, part of our preparation is, okay, number one, we have to try and, you know, be, be very close to God and uh, live our lives uh, faithfully. Number two, we have to avoid the things that uh, would not please God, which is, namely, sin. sin, right? And if we fall into the misfortune of sinning, we go to yeah. confession. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not purgatory yet. I mean, confession first, right? We go to confession. Eh? And, okay, we be sorry for our sins, and then we try again, we try again, we try again. Eh? Okay, so, when we die, when we die, we are going to meet a friend. We are going to meet a very good friend. Hopefully, our best friend, Jesus. Because we have been cultivating that friendship in a deeper and deeper way, in deeper sense, every day. Right? Every day. And that's what death is going to be for us. For us, when we die, hopefully, we're not going to meet a stern judge who is going to rule. Ah, you did this, you did that, you did that, you go to hell, or you got to... Hopefully not, right? Hopefully, we're going to meet a friend. Because we have been friends with him here on earth. 
And when he meets us finally, he's going to welcome us with open arms and say, Come on, friend. Come on, my child. See? Now it's time for you to uh, have, the, uh, have the benefits that my father has prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Beginning of time. Right? So, um, let us always be ready for it. Always be ready for it. And always welcome our sister death. See? As uh, some, other th some other authors would put it. Our sister death. Okay, we are over time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're off to Mass now, folks. Have a good day and always be ready. Always be ready. As death can come anytime. And the reunion yeah. with our best friend can come anytime. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye-bye well, now. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, careful. Be careful. Oh.